Hi, this is Steve Schneeberger with Keller Williams in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm here today to talk about the Richfield Point of Sale Inspection Program. This is the second of a series of videos designed to inform you and educate you about the process for selling your home in Richfield. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the inspection itself. You've gotten your application filled out, you've scheduled your inspection. So the, when the time comes for your inspection, the inspector will come to your house and you'll have either Jennifer or Alan. There's two people that handle the inspections for point of sale in Richfield, uh, and they're both great people, easy to work with. So they'll come in and do their thing. They'll look inside your house. They'll walk around your outside or look around the garage. They've got a little checklist that they work off of, and the whole process really takes maybe 25 minutes to do. It's not one, two, three hour process. It's very straightforward and pretty simple and they'll just do their thing when they're done they'll go back to their office and prepare a report and any items that they have on their checklist that require repairing they're going to prepare that list and send it to you usually via email and you'll see which items need to be done could be a smoke detectors missing or outlets not working properly could be anything could be a few things could be a, a long list but uh, once you have that list then you've got a period of time to get that corrected. Get all the items on that list fixed and then the important thing is you need to have the inspector come back for a second time and look at your fixes. Now there's no charge for the second inspection but you want to make sure you get them all done because if you they have to come out for a third time there is a charge for that. So um, pretty simple to do and once they've uh, given you the thumbs up they're going to also give you this certificate of housing maintenance compliance and this is what I call the golden ticket to closing. This, they'll, they'll sign right there on the spot, they'll hand it to you, and it's up to you to hold on to this certificate and bring it to your closing because without it, you will not be able to close on your house. Um, also, you know, it's possible you can maybe get a copy of it, but you really don't want to lose it. It's kind of a hassle. So hold on to that maintenance certificate and you'll be good to go.